Hey, this is Dad. This probably won't be a surprise to you, but your mom and I have decided to end it. It has nothing to do with you. I'm sorry, Casey. Hey, Casey. The couple you're interviewing is waiting downstairs. Okay, I'll be down there in a second. Okay. Interview couple, scene one, take one. Are you two happy with each other? Of course we are. Yeah. Really? Or are you just putting up a front? It seems like you're just dating to avoid being alone. You're fake and you know it. So please, just... Stop. You can go. What's up, Mike? Casey. How's that anti-love movie going? Documentary. Let's say movie. I should have it ready to submit to the festival soon, though. Do you really think that anyone's gonna want to watch an anti-love doc? Yes, I do. Casey, I feel like I've been friends with you for a while, so I can tell you pretty much anything. There's this girl. Her name's Amy. We met at work. I mean, we've talked a few times, and I think she really likes me. I mean, she's giving me all the signs. This, this happens all the time. You meet some girl, you think you're in love, and then it all goes wrong. This time, it's different, man. I I think I'm in love. Love doesn't exist. I'm serious, Casey. Look, I know that she's way out of my league, but she's perfect. I wish I could tell her how I feel, but she's not someone that you just ask out. If I had the guts to, maybe if I knew what she thought. Well, I could find that out easy enough. Hey, are you Amy? Yeah, sorry, have we met before? No, I, I'm a friend of Mike's. Oh, you must be Casey. Yeah. I've heard yeah. him talk about you yeah. before. You two work together, right? Yeah, I don't know him super well, but... How long have you worked with each other? I'm still kind of in the process of getting to know everyone. So you guys don't like talk or hang out <laughs> or anything? Every time I talk to him, he seems like super nervous and shy, so I don't want to make him uncomfortable. Did you know that he likes you? Because he really likes you. I mean, I kind of wondered, but I didn't want to assume. But why, did he send you to talk to me just because he was too scared? Maybe. Don't tell him I said this. I think he's a really great guy. Okay. I can't believe she said that. What should I do? Should I... Should I call her? Come on, man. Yeah, okay, how about this? I'll tell her you want to meet up for dinner. Just leave it all to me, really. You. I'd, I'd do that for you. Okay. Thanks, man. Casey, I thought you said that she'd be here by now. Yeah, look, I'm sorry, man. It just, I think she's got the wrong idea about all this, and she just, I don't think she wants to see you. She really said that? Yeah, yeah, she did. You were right. Why, why do we even try? How are you feeling? How do you think? Apparently it always goes how you say it'll go. I don't really know what the point is. Okay. 
I sabotaged your date, and I told Amy that you didn't like her. So, what you're saying is, he never actually cared about me. Wow. Thanks for telling me. I didn't even think she was serious. You didn't even think she was ser- Oh, so you get to make the call? Is this- Is this about anti-love? Using me as an example of that. Is that how you think that friendship works? Because it doesn't. If that's how it is with us, why are we friends? You need to leave. Yeah. Now! Well, our love um, has grown a lot, you know, through the years. We've been 42 years now. Um, I'm sure it's, it was very shallow at the beginning. We knew we loved each other. She's there when I need her, or I'm there when she needs her. I've been sick a couple of times, and she was always there at my side to help nurse me back to health. That's the love that did that. It's a deeper understanding of who each other is and, and where we come from. I understand his motives more now because I desire to, for one thing, and, and I know that he's not um, in it for selfish reasons. He's probably the most unselfish person I know. Hey Mike, uh, I know you don't really want to talk to me right now. I just wanted to let you know that the premiere for my documentary is coming up soon. I sent you a ticket. I'd really like to see you there. I hope you're doing well. My name is Casey. This is a passion project of mine in which I ask the question, does love exist? Don't say anything to embarrass me. Why do you always accuse me of embarrassing you? Because you do. You know what? I think we need a few days apart. It might sound cliche, but it was love at first sight. We just kind of clicked. Dating each other has been the best decision ever. We're inseparable now. I couldn't imagine life without him. Well, our love um, has grown a lot you know, through the years. We've been 42 years now. Um, I'm sure it's, it was very shallow at the beginning. I need to have Jess's best interests in mind and be very selfless in my actions and in my motives and in how I spend my time. There can't be any selfishness in, in my life. He's been picking up a lot of the house stuff since I am trying to grow my business and getting groceries or making meals. To me, that's a huge sacrifice on his part, but that he's willing to do that to support me because he loves me just really means a lot. It's been a journey. And in my attempt to disprove love, I have been led to believe that love should not be taken for granted. The relationships we have aren't expendable. We need to set our differences aside and be sincere. Love has no place for selfishness. I'm glad you made it. <laughs> well, it's a good doc, man. Oh, yeah, thanks. And look, I just wanted to clear the air between both of us and make sure there wasn't any differences. Um, I didn't mean to cause any problems with you and Amy. I just wanted to see you get hurt, okay? I've always viewed relationships as selfish, but 
you know, I realize now that love can be genuine and selfless. So, yeah, I'm really, I'm really sorry. It's okay, man. I forgive you. Thanks. And, you know, I explained everything to Amy, so she knows it was all me. Uh, to be honest, I feel like this is your chance, really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thanks. Yeah, yeah.